So I apologize for the choppy video in this section. I'm having a little technical difficulties with the camera. But I know how I can make it up to you. How about another word problem? Good? OK. Um, the last type of word problem, basic word problem, in this percentage section will be something like 35% of what is 19. So we can use the same technique we've been using in the last two problems. We're going to take every word in this question. We're going to convert it into something mathematical. That's going to leave us with an equation that we can solve. So 35%, just uh, something mathematical already, so we don't have to convert it to anything, of typically associated with multiplication. What is what we're trying to solve for? We don't know what what is. Uh, so we're going to call it something. We're just going to call it x, and we're going to try to solve for that later. Is is typically associated with equality, you know, equal sign. 19 is just a number, so we're going to copy that down. Now keep in mind, this is a little disclaimer, um, this isn't always going to be this simple for word problems. Word problems aren't always going to be this simple. Um, in the case of these basic percentage problems, you can do this. But just keep in mind that um, they're not always going to be this easy, word problems in general. Uh, but for now, we can be happy about it. Um, we have this equation, and we need to solve this equation for x. Basically, we're finished. Um, all we have to do is get that percentage sign out of the way and solve for x. Anytime you see a percentage sign, you take what's in front of it, and you throw it on top of 100. 35% is the same as 35 over 100. Multiplied by x equals 19. We just solve for x, and we're finished. So how do we solve for x? Well, there's uh, this 100 that's dividing uh, this left-hand side, so we need to get rid of it. The way we get rid of it is by multiplying by 100. That cancels out the hundreds, uh, leaving x, a little, the x side of the equation a little bit more simple. Uh, but we have to make this a legal operation. So what we have to do is multiply the right-hand side by 100 as well. So what are we left with? We have 35x on the left-hand side of the equation when the hundreds cancel. 19 times 100 is easy to do. Anytime you multiply a number by 100, you just add a couple of zeros, or you move the decimal place two places to the right. So 35x equals 1900. Now 35 is multiplying x, so to get rid of it, we have to divide. We divide the left-hand side by 35. We also have to divide the right-hand side by 35. When the 35s cancel, we get 1900 over 35 equals x. And that is our answer. 35% of 1900 over 35 equals 19. Now if you're like me, uh, you're not really satisfied with that answer. I need closure on this problem. I need to know what the number is. So um, if we actually want to figure out what 1900 over 35 is, we need to do long division. So 1900 over 35. We just got to do some long division here. So the question is, how many times can 35 go into, well, it doesn't go into 19 at all, so how many times does 35 go into 190? And uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a stab at 5. We're going to find out here in a second if that's true. Uh, 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2, that's going to give us 175. When we subtract, let's see here. Yep, 15. So that, so five was the right answer. Um, we bring down the zero, and the question now is, how many times does 35 go into 150? Now I'm going to guess four on this one. So we multiply the four times the 35, and if I'm multiplying right we get a remainder of 10. Now what we can do, uh, since we didn't get a remainder of 0, what we can do is add some decimal places to this problem. Add a point at the end of our 1900, point 0. Bring down the 0 and continue the long division like we normally would. Um, so how many times does 35 go into 100 now? And I think the answer is 2. Multiply the 2 times the 35. And you get 30. We could continue this process. Uh, I'm going to go one more decimal place, and then I'm going to round this thing off. So I'm going to add one more decimal place up in the dividend. I'm going to bring that zero down. And I'm going to ask how many times does 35 go into 300? 
And um, I'm thinking maybe the answer is eight. Just a guess, it's probably eight or nine. Uh, so let's give it a shot and see if that one's right. Eight times 35, four. Eight times three is 24, we get a 28. Oops, subtract. And we still have a, a non-zero remainder. So technically, if we wanted to go more decimal places, we could. We could add zeros until the cows come home, I suppose. Uh, but I'm just going to cut this thing off. I'm going to round this thing. I'm going to say the answer is 54.3. I'm going to round up to 2. And then I want to go back and figure out what the heck are we doing here. 35% uh, of what is 19? So what we found was that 35% of 54.3 is 19. And that's of course an approximation because we ended up rounding this thing off. Uh, so that concludes the three types of basic percentage word problems that you can get. Um, practice some on your own. Go to these uh, review sheets, uh, 060.pdf on the website, and there will be a bunch of examples for you to work. The next section we're going to talk about order of operations. See you there.